Here is a Canon laser printer. The model number is right there. I'm going to show you how to set this up and connect to your Wi-Fi. After we set it up and connect to Wi-Fi, then I will show you how to connect your Canon print app to this printer, which you don't need, but you do have other options, settings, functionality, and so on. For instance, one good thing about having the Canon print app is when I scan documents, I can get it right to my phone when it scans. Rather than before, when I didn't have the Canon print app, I would scan a bunch of documents and I had to put my USB in there and save it all to there. Anyway, let's proceed to set up here. So out of the box, you get some pamphlets. You get a LAN cable here, which we don't need because we're going to connect the Wi-Fi. You have the charging cable here. And now, first thing to do is go ahead and take all the tape off. All this stuff inside too. So after you take all the tape off, next is go ahead and plug in your power cable. Okay, so I just plugged it in. It looks like it's turning on itself. It doesn't. Just press the power button to make sure it turns on. Okay, so after like a minute or so, then the machine will stop running and then we get to here. We're going to choose our language. I'm going to go with English right there. I'm going to select on yes for English. Country or region, I'm in the U.S., United States. I'll tap that right there. And I'm in L.A., so let me look for Pacific time here. Here it is, Pacific time. Let's tap on that right there. And your date and time, go ahead and set that. And then tap on apply. It says here, do you want to correct the color for a more accurate reproduction of the original? I'm not sure about that because I usually have black and whites, but we're going to click on yes. Okay, so it's asking me to load paper to do that, so maybe I'll just do that another time. Let me just click on OK for here, and then let me go ahead and just go back. And then for this, more, I'm just going to select on no so we can keep proceeding with the setup. And now here we're going to set up our Wi-Fi. Okay, there's Wi-Fi connection. You can also do wired LAN connection if you wish, but we're going to do Wi-Fi. Let's go ahead and tap on that. And it says here, check OS compatibility. You can go ahead and scan that. I'm just going to go ahead and tap on next. And for the Wi-Fi, use connecting easy connection or use the connect um, network manually. So we're going to choose the second one, connect to network manually. So let's select that. So let me connect to my Wi-Fi. With your Wi-Fi, you're going to have all this other extra stuff next to it, the WAP, all that stuff. Okay, but anyway, mine's right here. And then I'm going to type in my Wi-Fi password. And then I'll tap Apply. All right, it says connected to Wi-Fi. Let's tap on next right there. And then if you're gonna use the, the remote UI, you can um, download download the drivers and whatnot. So I'm gonna tap on N right there. It's config configuring the settings now. So we're all set up on the printer itself. Now if you wanna download the uh, Canon Print app to your phone, but again, the Canon Print it, it, um, the app, it's optional. You just have more functionality. So you can download, you, you can go ahead and install it if you wish or not, okay? But anyway, I'm just going to connect to it now. So just go to your app store, Canon Print. That's what the icon here looks like. Let me go ahead and tap on that. Now I have several uh, printers here in this office here, but we're going to add this one here, okay? So what I'm going to do is just look for like add switch like down here. And then we're going to tap on register printer here and then wait for it to populate. Okay, so it looks like it found the MF750C, and you can see the model number is a little bit different, but this is the one that we want, okay? If it didn't show this one, you would tap down it. Um, if printer cannot be found, you have other multiple choices to choose. Anyway, it's this one right here, okay? So let's go ahead and tap that. And voila, we're now connected, ready to go. Pretty simple. Then from here, if I tap on like document print, it's going to bring up all my documents on my phone. Um, also, if I do a scan, put something in there, it'll scan and it'll come right to my phone here. You can print directly from your photos gallery here. You just click on customize and just add, and then click the plus sign. You can add all kinds of like the photo prints, facts, and so on, okay? But note, even if I don't have the app, I'm still able to uh, print directly from my phone. Any of my devices connect to Wi-Fi, I can print directly here, even if I don't have the Canon Print app. Now I'm gonna load some paper and I'll print a quick test page, okay? So go ahead and open the bottom up. You can, you can pull this thing, you can pull all the way out as well, okay? And you have these little blue tabs here, just hold the blue down and you can move these up and down. So I got some eight and a half by 11 paper here. Okay, let's go ahead and close this now. 
and I'll press OK there. Now let's take a quick test photo, okay? Let me just use my camera here, my phone. I'm just going to take a picture of that. So I just took that picture. I can go to my photos gallery or I can just go right here. And I'm on an iPhone here. And I'm going to tap on this little share button here on the bottom. And now from here, I'm going to look for print. Okay, there's print right there. Let me tap on that right there. And that's the printer. And then we're going to go ahead and print. And it should come out in color too. We're in business.